Hey everyone, I'm Danny. And I'm Sean. We're here to talk about the Alliance Station and Infinite Recharge. The Alliance Station is the area behind the Alliance Wall where drive teams play the game. It has three player stations, each of which is separated by the loading bay or the power port. You can watch Malcolm and Fiona in the loading bay video and Ted and Kelly in the power port video to learn more about those. Notice that stations one and three are also at an angle this year. Each player station has a shelf for an operator console. Note the strip of loop tape that runs two inches wide. The hook tape on your operator console will help prevent it from sliding around or worse, falling off the shelf. Each player station has an ethernet cable which connects the operator console's computer to the field management system. The east up button on the shelf lets you disable your robot if necessary. There is also an AC outlet for your operator console with two amp fuse. If you find yourself in the middle player station, Watch out for the equipment under the shelf. Notice the stack lights above each player station. They relay information to the teams and field crew for quick diagnostics. Check out the game manual for full details on these indicators. Each player station also has a team sign that displays the team's number throughout the match. The official time remaining in the match is displayed on the sign hung in the player station too. It is marked with white tape along the bottom edge. The starting lines run parallel to the alliance wall. Drive teams must stay behind this line during the autonomous period. Hello? Can you see me down here? Yeah, we just had to change our view slightly to be able to see you. How about now? Yep, yep, we can see you now. I see him. Good luck, teams. And may the force be with us all. <laughs> 